Now I've got Cassidy Ray Wilson on the phone and she's an artist uh, whose uh, vocals are truly mesmerising and her stage presence is nothing short of electrifying. Uh, her immense talent has earned her well-justified accolades such as the Australian Country Music People's Choice Awards Best Female Vocalist last year, uh, ICMA New Female Country Artist of 2023 and this year's Gimpy Muster Talent Finalist. Cassidy Ray's journey has been marked by success after success and she has been described by Kicks Country as one of uh, country's most energetic young talents. Oh, excuse me. From winning Sutherland's uh, Entertainer of the Year to achieving back-to-back number one iTunes charting singles, uh, she's a rising star with an unstoppable momentum and her latest amazing hit single, One More Song, that I played a few minutes ago, will undoubtedly provide the energy to ensure her musical career is driven to ever greater heights. Cassidy Ray's music has captivated audiences across the globe and her singles have graced popular playlists like Spotify's Fresh Country, Apple Music's Today's Country and Aussie Country. She has premiered on country music television and gained attention from esteemed publications like Country Town Australia and Amplify. Uh, am, am, uh, amplify, I think, yeah. <laughs> I can't read my own writing here. Um, she went global when uh, American country music singer-songwriter and ACA's new artist of the year, Thomas Rhett, raised the glass to join the Cheers Y'all movement. Uh, I'm deeply honoured to have Cassidy Ray uh, Wilson standing by on the phone waiting to have a chat with me. So let's keep the lady waiting no longer and bring her on air right now. Hello, Cassidy. How are you? I'm fantastic. With an introduction like that, I need to take you everywhere I go. My goodness. Oh, you deserve it. I not be able to walk through hallways now. My head's too big. You're filling it up. My goodness. <laughs> fantastic. How are you? Well, let's see if we can do something to deflate it. <laughs> Oh well, give it a go. It's going to be hard after that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even try. Um, <laughs> it's uh, no, no. Look, uh, you, accolades are well deserved. You're a very talented person. Um, Thank you. Anyway, look, welcome to the Country Club. I'm uh, really thrilled to have you on the show. Uh, tell us the story behind one more song. Did you write that alone, or was it a co-write? Oh my goodness, I wrote most of it alone. Okay. Uh, no, I actually collaborated. Uh, with the incredible producers Michael Paitner and Michael De Lorenzis, uh, the M Squared Boys uh, down in Victoria, who I was just down hanging out with writing some new music, actually. Oh, uh, cool. He actually co-wrote this amazing song. It just hit over 400,000 streams on Spotify. It's so cool. Okay. But when I was in Newcastle, I was performing at a gig, and after three hours of performing, the crowd all of a sudden unanimously started chanting, one more song, <laughs> one more song. And I thought it was so awesome. I'm like, this is going to make a really cool song title one day. Okay. And flash forward, I was at another performance. I have residencies on cruise ships, and I got to perform all around the world. And one of the cruise ships was 30 days of straight performing, back-to-back-to-back shows for... Hundreds of people every single night. It was it was a slog of of performing, and I loved every second of it. But on the very first night, wow. serendipitously, the crowd started chanting again, one more song. And I was like, oh, my goodness, I'm so humbled. That's amazing. I wonder how many nights in a row y'all can keep doing this. And we got to about the, fifth, the 14th night, and I was like, all righty, listen here. If you're going to keep chanting one more song. I have to write you a song called One More Song because now we're up to like over 40 hours of performing. We, why do you want more? one more? And they're like, we're just loving it. And so, you know, the 15th night came and they were still chanting One More Song and uh, this song was born. And I'm, I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to go into the studio and actually bring it to life with the M Squared Boys. Uh, men, I should say. <laughs> uh, and actually, you know, uh, create such a fun, upbeat song that people can't help but sing along to and I now still have uh, fans, I call them friends because they're a part of the community Uh, but I have them still messaging me to this day going one more song still in my head, I'm still doing the move Uh, so it's it's done amazingly, I'm so grateful for the response Wow, that's a great story (laughs) Thank you Yeah, no, good It's it's great to hear that uh, you're getting that sort of response, it's lovely Um, 
All right, so tell us quickly, where, where can people go and buy your music? Website is the easiest place to find it. It's like the home for hub. So www.cassidy-ray.com. It has access to all of the digital streaming platforms uh, like Spotify and Amazon and Apple and iTunes and Deezer and the rest of them and the rest of them. Wherever you get your music, it's available. Okay. Uh, but you can also on the website access uh, Facebook and Instagram. And I go live every single week and I'd love to connect with people even further and I share when I'm going and having chats with amazing people like yourself. And then you can also get some really cool merch. I've, I've never been called amazing before. Well, now you have. Seriously, uh, I appreciate your time. And I've been called amazing by no lesser an artist than Cassidy Ray Wilson. I've got to chalk that one up. <laughs> oh, please do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, now, uh, do you, um, are there any plans uh, for an upcoming album? At the moment, there's plans for a lot more music, whether that's an album or whether that's just singles. See, I love being able to actually really focus on just one song at a time and allow people to love it and absorb it and and get to know it as much as I do, rather okay. than just giving them a bunch that they don't necessarily get to listen to and appreciate. So I'm loving getting to focus on just one at a time, mm -hmm. uh, but you never know what next year may lead. I do know there'll be more music. How it shall be, we'll find out. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, all right. That, uh, that, that works for me. Um, <laughs> now, I understand you've got a music and arts degree from Macquarie University, so you're not just a pretty face. No, no, definitely not. I always loved being able to actually know about what I love most in this world, which is music and which is being able to connect with people and, and finding a different way of doing that rather than just the practical experience to me was always so important. So, yeah, yeah. it was a great opportunity to go to Macquarie University. And from there, I actually was led into performing internationally around the world and performing on residencies with Carnival Cruise Line. So I've literally gotten to sail from... New Orleans and Florida and uh, get, got to travel to the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos and even on my travels got to stop in at Nashville and actually experience the home of American country music and, and see what that's like. Uh, so, you know, Macquarie University and that degree has done more than just the actual education. Uh, it led me to some really cool places in my life. I'm very grateful for it. Excellent, excellent. Oh, that's great. Um, and uh, it, it's a it's an um, an institution that's highly regarded too. So, um, you, you know, uh, getting a degree from uh, Macquarie University is no small feat. Um, oh no, definitely not. It was certainly an achievement, and I loved that uh, it was so close to me and and um, family oriented. I guess I loved the ability to be so creative in these wide open spaces at Macquarie. So it was yeah. an awesome time. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, I know myself when I was going to university. It's a, it's a significant part of your life, and uh, you know it, it's one that stays with you. You know for, for the rest of your life. Um, so true. Yeah, um, and, and it's and it's a it's something that's absolutely worth doing, in, in, in my opinion. You know, just uh, you know spending four, three or four years in academia, and uh, you know I, I think you come away from it a, a, a better person, in my opinion. I think it's like it, it just worked out in my path and I understand that it might not be everybody's path but uh, for me I'm really grateful that it ended up just being so serendipitous and things kind of just uh, showed me that I was on the right track I guess because music is a very much write your own adventure, pick your own story and your own mm -hmm. um, storyline like those games I guess uh, mm -hmm. and with music you know I just kept picking uh, things that brought me joy I was raised by my parents to do what you love and never work a day in your life. And while I've done what I've loved every single day, it's been a lot of hard work, but so worth it. And mm. going to study music as well as arts practice and management. So the business of music was um, so important for me. And I'm, I'm very grateful for having that path. And uh, yeah, that's um, uh, and yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's good that you acknowledge that. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Um, so, just tell me, uh, who are you, mate? I, I mean, um, we're all influenced by someone, um, and, mm -hmm. and I'm just curious about uh, the influences that uh, that you've drawn on, um, you know, to to shape your body of work. To be honest, um, because of my life and and working as a entertainer with Carnival Cruise Lines, I've gotten to listen to literally thousands 
of different musicians mm -hmm. and gotten to perform to thousands of people sharing these new songs that I've learned. So my taste and my influences are quite eclectic. I grew up listening to Michael Bublé and Delta Goodrum and Taylor Swift and Shania Twain and Faith Hill and and then, you know, listening to the Beatles. And now I, I'm influenced in by so many artists from Lainey Wilson to Kelsey Ballerini to Carrie Underwood to Dolly Parton to um, Luke Combs to Brad Paisley and a lot of the country artists because I'm constantly listening to country. But even then, you know, listening to the Cranberries because I keep playing Zombie mm. and uh, loving Darius Rucker with Wagon Wheel. So I'm constantly influenced by so many artists that my body of work is never but just by one person. But I do have to say, I am obsessed and I'm a, a fangirl of Taylor Swift and not just of her music, but the way that she connects with fans and the way that she entertains on stage, that, you know, she's more than just a pretty face as well. Like, you can tell that there's a lot of thought that goes into what she's done and the business and the tourism and the experience mm. that she's created. And it's definitely something that's inspired me, not just musically, but how I entertain and put on shows and how I want to connect with my community to mean that it's more than just, you know, a fan-to-artist connection, that it actually feels like they're a part of a community and it's something more that they get um, than just listening to three minutes of my heart being put out onto a track for them to listen to if they're in the mood. You know, it's, it's something that that gets to be, uh, seeps into their life and it's a song that becomes a part of their story. Um, so I'm influenced by a lot of different artists, I should say. Well, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with having a broad base of, exp uh, of uh, influence. Um, you hmm. know, I mean, it, Definitely it, not. It, yeah, uh, you know, the more the better uh, and the richer, uh, I think. Yeah, yeah. So true. Yeah. So true. Um, all right, now we're almost out of time, so uh, just uh, one more quick question, if I could. What What's next for you? More music. So okay. currently, I just flew back from Victoria, literally today. That explains uh, the weather we're having. You You were here. I understand now. We've got this gorgeous weather that we've had the last few days. So yeah, because Cassidy Ray was here. It's been sunshiny down there, hasn't it? I loved it. Yeah. Uh, I got to actually record some new music. So next year. Better songs than Mama Song. I know it's blasphemy to say that it's a better song, but more music is coming and it's so good. I can't wait to share it. Uh, but right now, literally, I am I got off a plane. I'm about to get back on a plane on Tuesday, so in two days' time, and I'm heading on to another international residency. I'm going to be sailing the seven seas uh, with Carnival Cruise Lines and entertaining hundreds of people for every night for the next 30 nights. Wow. Uh, on the Carnival kind of Splendor sailing out to the Pacific Islands, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> I, I am so envious. <laughs> I'm so envious uh, well, of you. You know what? You can live vicariously through me. I actually share as much details and all the videos behind the scenes as well as snippets of the performance okay. everywhere from TikTok to YouTube to Facebook to Instagram to Twitter, everywhere and anywhere. I want people to be able to join me on the journey and not just see when I'm on stage, but they get to see behind the scenes of what, you know, a crew mess on a cruise ship would look like, or, you know, what a day would look like as an entertainer on a cruise ship when I'm off in port and travelling to a foreign country, and it's a lot of fun, so don't need to feel jealous, just join in on the fun and the adventure with me. <laughs> well, I, 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 yeah, well, I am, I am envious, I must admit, but... Uh... Uh, look, more more power to you. I, I, I love the fact that you know you you, you are getting uh, your your right rightfully deserved success. So there you go. Um, Thank you so much. That's so lovely of you to say. I appreciate it. Oh. And you know, it's a success to even be on your show. I appreciate you inviting me on and getting to chat with me. It's been such a wonderful time chatting. I'm all about promoting good Aussie talent, and you definitely tick that tick that box without any fear of doubt. Um, See, now I'm definitely not going to be able to fit through the doorway. <laughs> well, just do your best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, it's been lovely talking to you, Cassidy, Ray, and um, uh, I look forward to doing it, doing it again uh, sometime in the not-too-distant future, hopefully. And, definitely. Uh, I'll hold you to it. Maybe I won't be getting off a plane next time. <laughs> well, uh, whether you do or not, it doesn't matter. Um <laughs> look, safe travels. Um, look after yourself. Uh, have a lovely time on the on the boat, and uh, you know. Uh, Thank uh, you so much. Yeah. Appreciate your time, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy Sunday. You too, and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. If I don't talk to you before then. Oh my goodness! Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I love this time of year. <laughs>
Okay. All right. Lovely to talk to you and uh, uh, all the best to you. Thank you. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.